Welcome to my channel Suspense Recapped. Today I will explain the movie name Reign of Fire. Spoilers here, watch out for the movie, a boy is seen at the start of the film. Whose name is Quinn who had come at the construction site with his mother. Where his mother used to serve as a project engineer. Quinn hands his mother over that letter that he had got from the school management. After this, there is discussion between them. And Quinn's mother goes back to working along with her co-worker. Someone was saying ill for Quinn's mother where he was standing. Because Quinn's mother had a sign that man a task to move an underground tunnel. Quinn says to that man, we should not say ill to others because of our own fear. And Quinn asks that man with it, do you feel fear of going into the tunnel? Hearing it, the man loses his temper and he says to Quinn that, go there if you are bolder. And Quinn also moves into the tunnel, taking a torch from that man. Going inside, Quinn touches a weird surface. As it is a rock. Touching that surface, a few flames fall on Quinn. As Quinn looks up, he witnesses a giant dragon there. Dragon falls his saliva on Quinn's face and he runs outside as being panicked. Quinn's face had been infected here due to that saliva dropped by the dragon. Coming outside, Quinn tells all the people and his mother that, there is a dragon in that tunnel. This fact is believed by his mother, but the remaining people do not trust in his words. And those people go into that tunnel, ignoring the warning of Quinn. And that dragon kills those people, blowing fire from his mouth. Now the flames of fire had started to appear out of the tunnel dot where Quinn and his mother were present. Quinn moves to a loft, accompanying his mother. Because they wanted to go on the surface of the ground through lift. But the dragon flies high, using his giant wings. And attacks that lift where Quinn and his mother were represented. Quinn remains saved from the attack of that dragon here. But his mother loses her breaths. It was being told in the story of the movie, it was 2010 when this dragon had appeared from here. After this incident, such types of dragons had been discovered throughout the world. And these dragons put a great loss in the world during the time of 10 years. Even though the human population had also reduced dangerously. And dragons had not decreased in numbering in spite of the struggles. Many years later in the movie, Quinn comes on the scene. Who had grown up. Shockingly, he was still secured from the attack of those dragons. Low population had left in London with those who were the survivors. Quinn was the head of all these people. Those survivors had built a small underground city. Were those people used to living there in a hidden way from the dragons? They all used to live together and plan to kill the dragon. And they used to move outside when there was a need to bring the food from the field. Or they had to work in the fields. Quinn knows this as their companion Eddie is leaving their area. Quinn stops that man because he did not want this, as someone may leave this place and become the target of the dragons. But Eddie was willing to move outside from this place at any cost. Because he had lost his wife and son when he had arrived in this domain. Because there was the little quantity of food here. Now he did not lose his rest of family here. So he was leaving to take food. But Quinn explains to him that we cannot take food from there until crops are perfectly ripened. And we will have to depend on the little quantity of food till that time. Next morning, it is seen that Eddie had stolen the jeep keys of Quintot and he had come out of the domain along with some people silently. The area that they had built underground. So a dragon may make them its target. Security system is alerted as they reach the field. A few dragons have approached here. So danger alarms begin to sound in the field and the domain because of the arrival of the dragons in fields. Their sound used to indicate the nearer danger. As Quinn is getting ready for his team to face those dragons, then he comes to know that Eddie has crossed the boundary of this domain. Quinn was becoming aggressive thinking they had gone outside without his permission. And Quinn was not willing to protect them. As such, it was the obligation of Quinn to rescue those people. So he moves to the fields for this mission. He sets the fire in the surrounding of the field, reaching there. So the dragons may not witness them. Even their lives may be at risk in this way. And their annual quantity of food could also be destroyed in this way. As Eddie and the people with him witness the fire in their surroundings, they think that this fire had been set by the dragons. Now they have understood that no one can rescue them here. At the same time, Quinn appears there who makes them sit in his truck while saving them. And Quinn strives with them to his domain in the truck. Meanwhile, a child loses his life. Quinn was also very grieved at the death of that kid, reaching the domain. He was the son of Eddie and it was also the fault of Eddie, so he was also losing his temper. This scene completes here. Next morning, it is seen that many vehicles stop, approaching near their area. And the caravan's leader named Van Zan gets off Jeep there. Who says to the security guards here, we wanted to meet your leader here. This is the cause, Quinn is called there. That man Van Zan tells Quinn that we are the dragon hunters. It means we hunt dragons. He also reveals here that, our many companions have met their end last time while hunting the dragons. And many of our weapons have also been spoiled with it. 
That man says to Quinn, it is because we want to take refuge under your shelter. So we may be able to fight with the dragons while repairing our weapons. That man shows an arrow to Quinn in order to prove his story truthful. Which he had taken out of the mouth of the dragon after hunting it. Seeing Quinn begins to believe in him, Dot and he allows him to stay in their area. Quinn meets a girl named Alex in this group. Who is the pilot of this group's helicopter? Quinn's men ask those people, how do you hunt the dragons? And they reveal that, we hunt those dragons while jumping from the helicopters. In the next scene, security guards detecting dragons have approached here again. Security guards turn on the danger alamies of the domain. In this way, all the people of this place are alerted. Now other people had also gone to hunt the dragons along with Quinn's men. Three members of this group reached there by motorbike. Where they had an idea as the dragons will approach their dot and they set a machine there which is like the reader. That machine was in three parts. And they had to set that machine in such a way that the shape of a triangle may be made after placing them in this way. They could not carry out their plan until they set the machine properly. It is witnessed here that two bikers set the machine at a place properly. But one of the bikers fell down before completing this task. Dot and he loses his breath there. Dot on other side, the team leader was trying to contact the third member, at the same time Quinn approaches that dead man. And he contacts Van Zan through the walkie-talkie of that dead man. Van Zan instructs him, how and where had he set the third radar? And Quinn set that machine at a proper place with the instructions of Van Zan. Now Alex is seen in the air who was saying to a man who was with her to jump from here. So he may become the food of the dragons. Jump from here. So he may become the food of the dragons. And the remaining hunters may entrap the dragons. And they carry out the same. Now one of the hunters jumps out of the helicopter, the dragon is going to victimize him then he moves far while opening his parachute. While two remaining hunters try their best to entrap it dot and they are succeeded in it. But that dragon moved backward, freeing from that trap. And he eats one of the men. And the other man died because of falling down. One other hand, it is seen that Van Zan was observing dragons on the computer screen. And he says to Quinn here, come down from the mountain. Because the dragon is proceeding to you. And I have to hunt that dragon. Quinn was retreating on the saying of that man. That dragon was also after him as Quinn was returning back and the group leader hunted the dragon here. Quinn and his companions are very satisfied here because they had hunted dragons. But Vavzan was not satisfied at all because he had lost his three members. Now Van Zan reveals his real plan to Quinn here. Van Zan tells Quinn, there are only female dragons throughout the world according to our research. And there is only one male dragon in London. All dragons will be eliminated if we hunt the male dragon. And other dragons will also not be bred. There was a purpose of Van Zan of telling a plan to Quinn, that he may allow his team members to be the part of their group. But Quinn does not agree with him because his team members may lose their lives, doing as such. Van Zan moves to those people hearing the descent of Quinn and he explains to them while saying that if we hunted all those dragons, then we would easily be able to spend our lives independently under this vast sky. They will not feel the need to live in fear stealthily. As Quinn knows that Van Zan is provoking his men. Then Quinn is embittered and a fight begins between them. Van Zan was more powerful than Quinn in this fight, so he beat Quinn badly. As a result, he was left badly wounded. Van Zan's companion Alex was feeling bad for Quinn here. So she gives the ointment to Quinn for his body wounds in the climax of the movie. It is being shown that, at last, male dragon had stepped in their area. That dragon set the fire in their area before they hunted it. Due to this, everything has perished here. Quinn and Van Zan rescue the children here. And Van Zan's team members meet their end along with the men of Quinn. Van Zan's fault and haste had taken the lives of many people here. So he apologizes to Quinn here and Quinn also wants the safety of everyone. And did not want that giant dragon to arrive here again. Being agreed with Van Zandt Quinn and all others decide to fight with the dragon collaboratively. Now Quinn gives the responsibility of his domain to his special attendant. And says to him, you are responsible for the safety of the people in the area. And he himself goes to kill the dragons with Van Zandt. Where they witness while reaching the center of London as there are many dragons, and those dragons are eating one another after victimizing them. They were observing this male dragon appear there. All small dragons are terrified, seeing it and they leave that place. And it was a good indication for Quinn and Van Zan because they had not to waste their energy while killing those small dragons. Now they had only one mission to hunt this male dragon. But trouble was this here, how will they reach that male dragon? How will they lure the dragon towards them? This trouble is resolved by Quinn because he had good knowledge of London. Quinn takes Van Zan to a toe and he himself descends. Alex performs her duty here a strap for the dragon and she jumps before it. As that dragon opens his mouth to eat Alex, then Van Zan sets a bomb into its mouth. 
But that bomb is not exactly fixed into its mouth. That dragon does not get any harm but it becomes aggressive. And it steps forward to attack Van Zan. But Van Zan does not feel confusion but jumps over the dragon boldly, holding his axe. Unlucky he remains unable to hunt the dragon dragon eat him. Now looks at Quinn. And it proceeds to victimize him. And Quinn eventually explodes the bomb into its mouth, saving Hinsief here. Consequently, that dragon ended there. The scene drops here in a sight after a few months is shown. Where not a single dragon had survived in London and they were spending their time under this vest sky with no fear. It is seen that survivors of the day named Quinn and Alex were with each other. This movie completes this scene while showing them. Thanks for watching. Do you like this type video then subscribe my channel suspense recapped.